Hello students, let us take a look at question number 2 of exercise 9.4, chapter 9. Here we have triangle ABC such that points B, D, E and C lie on the same line which is also the base of your triangle ABC. Uh, these points uh, are placed such that B, D is equal to D, E is equal to E, C. So, these line segments are equal. I need to prove that the three triangles so formed by connecting these points to the opposite vertex out here are equal, the areas are equal that is area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ADE is equal to area of triangle AEC. So how do we prove this? The most simple way to do this is to draw a perpendicular out here. So I will draw AM perpendicular to BC. So now if you notice area of triangle ABD is half into base into height which is half into BD and the height is AM right although see this is an obtuse angle triangle so if you have an obtuse angle triangle the height is always the perpendicular drawn from the opposite vertex to the base right so this is the height of your triangle similarly for a triangle AEC the area is half into EC into AM and for area of uh, triangle ADE the area is half into DC into AM. So what do we have? We have BD is equal to DE is equal to EC. This is given, right? So obviously half is also equal. So obviously AM is also equal. Therefore I can say that the areas of, this, of these three triangles are equal. So let's go ahead and write this proof. So I'll first mention my construction. Join, uh, draw. AM perpendicular to BC such that B, D, M, E, C. This means that the points B, D, M, E and C they lie on the same line BC. Okay. Now area of triangle ABD First, let's just like write the generic statement for area of triangle. We know that area of triangle is given by half into base into height. Correct? Therefore, area of triangle ABD is equal to half into base which is BD into height which is AM. Let's mark this as 1. Then I have area of triangle ADE which is half which is the base DE into height AM. Let's mark this as 2. Then area of triangle AEC. I have half into EC into AM. Now if you compare 1, 2 and 3, see you have the areas of the triangles, half is equal for each of these. You have AM common and we also have BD is equal to DE is equal to EC. Therefore, from 1, 2, 3 and given that BD is equal to DE is equal to EC. What can we say? That area of triangle ABD is equal to area of triangle ADE is equal to area of triangle AEC. Hence proved. So what did we notice? Here for a triangle, if you divide your line segment into three equal parts, by taking points on the base you get and you connect these points to the opposite vertex you get three equal triangles. Similarly if you, if you divide the base for example if you have a triangle PQR such that you divide this line segment into n equal parts. So I will say how many equal parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and I join these 
points to the vertex opposite vertex right how many triangles i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and all these lengths are equal all these triangles are going to have equal area area of triangle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 are going to be equal so this was just for seven triangles so if you divide the base into equal number n equal number of line segments and you connect these points to the opposite vertex then you will get n triangles all of equal area so this is a very important point thank you for watching this video Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.